Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in this video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 2.2, .2, Steady Flow Energy Equation. So, in the chapter 2, first law of thermodynamics, we are going to derive steady flow energy equation and this lecture is very important. The content, the topic in this lecture, specific heat, enthalpy. So, we define what is specific heat, what is enthalpy. Application of first law of thermodynamics to open system, that is steady flow energy equation. The learning outcome to the lecture, at the end of the lecture, the student will be defined, student will be able to define enthalpy and specific heat and derive the steady flow energy equation. First is specific heat. In the lecture, the first law of thermodynamics is internal energy. Q equal to W plus delta U. That is the continuation. Specific heat at constant volume. So, Cv, the equation is Cv dou U by dou T. Dou, dou U by dou T at constant volume. So, this is the constant volume. Specific heat at constant volume is defined as the rate of change of specific internal energy with respect to temperature when the volume is held constant. Dou U by dou T is the change in the internal energy with respect to temperature at the constant volume. So, J joules per kilogram Kelvin, the unit is joules per kilogram Kelvin. Then heat capacity, otherwise CV, capital CV naka mass into specific heat. So, the unit is joules per kilogram. Heat capacity at constant volume, capital Cv, m into small cv. Next, there is a property, thermodynamic property, enthalpy. Enthalpy, the enthalpy of a substance is sum of internal energy and the product of pressure and volume. So, he equal to u plus pv. This is very, very important. He equal to u plus pv. And for ideal gas, enthalpy depends on temperature only. So, in, number here, internal energy is a function of temperature only. So, no, if I hear enthalpy is a function of temperature only. Then, enthalpy per unit mass is called a specific enthalpy. Small h equal to small u plus pv. Small p, small v. So, small u is the specific internal energy. V is the specific volume. Then, specific heat at constant pressure. Specific heat at constant volume are specific heat at constant pressure. The specific heat at constant pressure is defined as rate of change of enthalpy with respect to temperature when the pressure is held constant. So, Cp equal to dou H by dou T at constant pressure. So, dou H, everybody you know, dou H by dou T at constant pressure, the unit is joules per kilogram Kelvin. Cv, dou V, dou U by dou T. Then heat capacity at constant pressure, capital Cp equal to m into small cp. So, joules per Kelvin. So, Cp, Cv. So, for gas, we have Cp and Cv. For liquid and the solid, we have only one specific heat. So, liquid and solid, one specific heat there is C. For gas, air, two specific heat. Con specific heat at constant volume, specific heat at constant pressure. The relationship between the two specific heat. Listen, H equal to U plus PV in our H equal to U plus PV equal to RT, perfect gas equation. So, H equal to U plus PV RT. Differentiate pannanga with respect to temperature. Dou H by dou T equal to dou U by dou T plus R. So, in the equation, differentiate pannanga, dou H by dou T plus dou U by dou T plus R. Dou H by dou T namak thiriyo CP. Dou U by dou T namak thiriyo CV, R. So, Cp equal to Cv plus R. Cp minus Cv equal to R. In the equation, the Nyavo Chukuno. Cp minus Cv equal to R. This is very important for problem solving. The ratio of specific heat is called a specific heat ratio, which is gamma. Gamma equal to Cp by Cv. So, R equal to Cp minus Cv and gamma equal to Cp by Cv. These two are important. Then, a small question. Enthalpy of an ideal gas is a function of temperature only, volume and pressure, entropy and pressure, temperature and the pressure. So, if you are able to guess the answer, temperature only, 
you are correct. Enthalpy is of enthalpy of an ideal gas is function of temperature only. Next, we are going to derive the steady flow energy equation. Steady flow means the thermodynamic property will have fixed value at a particular location and will not change with time. Steady flow. fluid mechanics properties are constant with respect to time. That is what steady flow. At any location, properties are constant with respect to time and will not change with respect to time. Time or chill to properties maradu. device steady flow device. There is only inlet, outlet. Inlet to the height on the Z1 from the reference point, outlet to the height on the Z2. Inlet section on the 1, 1, outlet section on the 2, 2. If a fluid is entering here, fluid is leaving here. So the I mean the terminology. A1, A2 are the cross-sectional area of the pipe at inlet and the outlet. M1, M2, mass flow rate of fluid at inlet and the outlet kilogram per second. P1, P2, pressure of the fluid at inlet and the outlet in Pascal. V1, V2, specific volume of, specific volume of the fluid at inlet and the outlet, meter cube per kilogram. Capital V1, capital V2, velocity of the fluid at inlet and the outlet, meters per second. Small U1, small U2, specific internal energy at inlet and the outlet, joules per kilogram. Z1, Z2, elevation above the datum in meter. Then, so there is a heat transfer, del Q by T, del Q by DT, net rate of heat transfer through the control surface, joules per second. There is work transfer, del W by dou T, del W by DT, net rate of work transfer through the control surface. So, there is heat transfer, heat supplied to the system and the work done by the system. So, conservation of mass, first one the conservation of mass. So, the conservation of mass, the mass flow rate entering equal to the mass flow rate leaving the system, M1 equal to M2. So, what is M1? A1 V1 by small V1. Area, A1 is area, V1 is velocity, capital V1 is velocity, small V1 is the specific volume. A1 V1 divided by small V1 equal to A2 V2 by small V2. This is what the conservation of mass or it is also known as continuity equation. You know, fluid mechanics link continuity equation. This is continuity equation. Then we, we derive the energy equation. Various forms of energy at inlet. In an energy, potential energy mgz, kinetic energy of mv square, flow energy mp1v1, internal energy m1u1. There is heat input del q by dt. So, in inlet condition la, Entry in the system, potential energy M1 G Z1, kinetic energy of M1 V1 square, flow energy M1 P1 V1, internal energy M1 U1, rate of heat input del Q by dt. Now the total energy entering the control volume, total energy sum of all the value, M1 G Z1 plus 1 by 2 M1 V1 square plus M1 P1 V1 plus M1 U1 plus del Q by t. In the first two four terms leave on the M1 is common. M1 common at the term naka, G Z1 plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus P1 V1 plus U1 plus del Q by T. So, H1 equal to U1 P1, H equal to U plus PV, here can I H enthalpy equal to U plus PV. Up in the equation, M1 into G Z1 plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus H1 plus del Q by DT. Similarly, total energy leaving the controls volume. Up in our row, M2 g z2 1 by 2 1, 1 by 2 v2 square h2 plus instead of heat transfer there is work done del w by dt so this is the total energy entering the system and this is the total energy leaving the system what is steady flow energy energy conservation principle net energy entering into the system is equal to net energy leaving the system so energy cons mass conservation principle which you continuity equation derive no? Energy conservation principle use penite, we are going to derive the steady flow energy equation. Energy, net energy entering into the system is equal to net energy leaving the system. Ida equation. M1, G Z1 plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus H1 plus del Q by dt equal to M2, G Z2 plus 1 by 2 V2 square plus H2 plus del W by dt. So, continuity equation, M1 equal to M2 equal to M equal to dm by dt. If a dm by dt, the equation up on divide up on So, dividing the above equation by dm by dt, we will get g z1 plus 1 by 2 v1 square plus h1 equal to del q by dm. 
del q by dt multiplied by dt by dm this become del q by dm plus g z2 plus 1 by 2 v2 square plus h2 plus del w by dm so this is rate of heat transfer with respect to per unit mass this is rate of work done per unit mass this is what the work done per unit mass is the heat transfer per unit mass all the quantities here they are per kilogram per unit mass so the above equation is known as steady flow energy equation equation is also we can write this equation so in the equation of the you have to remember for problem solving so g is at 1 plus 1 by 2 v1 square plus h1 plus q equal to g is at 2 plus 1 by 2 v2 square plus h2 plus w so q and w are the energy transfer per unit mass joules per kilogram ella value me vand z value meter v velocity value meters per second enthalpy joules per kilogram heat transfer joules per kilogram here w joules per kilogram adala vand substitute joules per kilogram la substitute pannu value vand problem la vand kilo joules la kuduthirupanga neenga joules la substitute pannu adu nyavam vechukonu problem solve pandra appo na na ungalku solren so we stop here so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me for any clarification on the subject we'll meet again in another next video lecture for application of steady flow energy equation in the lecture la vande we derived the steady flow energy equation next lecture la we try to apply the steady flow energy equation for various engineering devices until then bye